So currently I've been working on the Goblin Copter, which is one of our new AIs that's going to be introduced into Bongo. Uh, it's just a very simple fly-in AI. It's a little goblin head in a jar that moves around and attacks the player. Uh, we've not really faced any issues with it as yet. Uh, the only little uh, issue that we did have really was with uh, the AI navigation. With Unreal Engine, the built-in navigation only accounts for uh, 2D pathfinding, where it builds a navigation obviously from the navigation graph. Uh, so we've had to download an external plugin. Uh, which then creates 3D navigation for us so it can 3D pathfind and then move around from within the level itself. Uh, we've currently got it roaming around and then when it sees a player it will then chase the player and start attacking it. So we're starting to use some turrets from other game modes uh, attached to them so that way we don't have to quite rebuild all our logic. We can just uh, recycle some stuff that's already there but at the same time it's quite fitting because we can just attach the turrets themselves to the AI and then they have their own attacks and everything. Uh, so yeah our future plans at the moment will obviously be getting it into the bongo level. Uh, we need to rebuild the navigation because uh, we have a chunk loader on our bongo level which will then uh, load in different blocks as the level goes on so as more items are spawned into the map itself uh, we need to rebuild the navigation as it goes uh, so we need to put in a bit of testing at the moment for that to see how that works in and see if there's any hitches uh, so yeah it's been pretty straightforward so far So for past two weeks, I've been working on AI powered smart uh, level designer. Uh, uh, it's a sort of level designer in which we are using uh, advanced mathematics cal calculations and uh, uh, predictive power of GPT uh, to create levels. And we are also uh, looking forward towards using uh, methods like reinforcement learning through which uh, GPT can understand the level better and create better levels. So the whole idea is that uh, there will be some predefined assets uh, which, which will be based on some themes and player, players can choose one theme and uh, tell GPT to create uh, levels which are corresponding to that, th uh, uh, that theme. Uh, what GPT basically does uh, is to give uh, give Unreal Engine uh, coordinates, location, and the scale uh, about uh, the kind of assets uh, Unreal is supposed to instantiate. And once Unreal gets that sort of information, Unreal instantiates it. And we do have uh, additional tools uh, to change the level or edit the level, uh, which could be done by the player himself or herself. Uh, so. Uh, so the whole idea is that uh, once people start playing uh, our game and uh, uh, GPT will start to learn and try to create better and better games uh, at every iteration uh, and uh, at start uh, it's going to require some sort of training but eventually uh, with, with ample amount of training GPT is going to create uh, levels which people love and of course people can edit the level themselves so if there is there is uh, there is a there's an aspect of the level which people don't like they can themselves change it and uh, and GPT is going to take note of that as well so yes uh, the the basic understanding about uh, this whole a AI level creator is basically a situation where uh, people can uh, people who are not level designers or not artists can enjoy the feeling of creating art uh, and uh, you know give them uh, as much as creative freedom as possible uh, the challenges which we are kind of getting uh, uh, encountered is the is the fact that uh, you know it's a it's a large data structure so we have to optimize a way to send all of this information to chat gpt and chat gpt to process it and process it and then send it back so so there's a there's a whole uh, host of issues which we are, are encountering but uh, since we have made sure that this whole process is quite modular, uh, we are tackling challenges point by point and I think in, uh, in not so distant future you will be able to uh, see uh, uh, some of the demos and uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's from my side and the research department is like yeah, full-fledged on this. So yeah, that's pretty much of it. Thank you.